Inspectors. Let's talk about this dreaded I word that has really frustrated a lot of people. I'm not here to talk trash, but I'm here because I'm an inspector and I do that sometimes, primarily I contract. Now, what I see a lot happening, and as a contractor, you need to understand this is your defense. There are a great deal of inspectors who are going around writing reports that are virtually based off of opinions of what they saw on a job, and those conclusions are not referenced to a set of standards or guidelines. So basically, they're baseless. They're just an opinion. If you're a contractor who has been the victim of such a report, it is well within your rights to hire a good inspector. Look around. Pay someone to come from out of state, whatever you need to do, to show that you've done the job right. Okay? So if it goes to court, the bad inspector is going to lose because his report misses a lot of things, and the lawyers will find that. As a contractor, how do you not miss things? There are three things that you need to do. One, obviously you need to take measurements. Number two, you need to document that. And number three, although it's first in priority, is read your guidelines, understand them, and follow them. If you do all of these things, you have the data, you follow the guidelines, and you've advised the homeowner about how to maintain relative humidity, run the air conditioner, etc., then you're going to be just fine when it goes to court. I hope you don't end up in court, but let me tell you that there are far more ineffective and bad inspectors out there who are hired guns than there are actually equitable honest professional inspectors. Do not let it discourage you. If you have been the victim of a bad inspection, then call someone good and clear your name. All right? Stay in touch, folks.